Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Mons. I've got some hair streak caterpillars here. Fulvus hair streak, we've been raising them. I've been taking you through step by step how to get eggs from a female hair streak butterfly, a tiny little butterfly, about an inch, less than an inch wingspan. And we're raising them through and we are going to document the entire life cycle of the Fulvus hair streak. And we're gonna open this up and we're gonna show you some final instar hair streak caterpillars. I have to split them because they eat each other. Okay, so we're gonna go open up this container and see how they do. We'll feed them and finish out this life cycle. So let's get to the video. Guys, all right, so we're going to check and see what do our fulvous hair streak caterpillars look like. We've got some good ones. Big boy. All right. All right, folks, first thing I'm gonna do, this is my cup full of hair streak caterpillars. You can actually see them. I think they're gonna start pupating very soon, uh, which leaves them very vulnerable to cannibalism by their siblings. Yes, cannibalism. So I'm gonna actually split, I think I've got like, 10 caterpillars in here. I'm gonna split these two into two new cups. Here's some freshly cut host plant of the Indian pond yam. Oh, actually, there is a skipper hatch right there. You see them right on this leaf right here. There's the old eggshell and there's a little leaf fold there. So we've actually got a Leo skipper, Polygonia Leo hatch right right on this leaf right here. So maybe we'll go ahead and add him to the <laughs> group of stuff that we're raising. Um, raising, raising, grammar, Dave. Now these things are super, super picky. I mean, they don't eat leaves that are a couple of days old. They just want the, the freshest of the fresh of leaves. So you gotta be like really super picky. What I'm finding is they won't eat leaves that are just a couple of days old. They, they want this stuff right up in here. Maybe these real super soft new leaves. They're like two days old, three days old. But beyond that, they won't touch them. They'd rather starve. So, all right, in the cup we go. In the cup we go. And I will cut Okay, so I've got just this fresh new stuff here and I've got five four stems going in this one water pick and it's all this nice reddish color. They don't even have the chlorophyll setting in yet on these leaves. That's what the hair streak caterpillars seem to like from this species. So we are going to get these guys, this leaves curled nicely into this cup. And then what we'll do, all right, I've got my two cups. Now what we're going to do we're gonna go through here and we are going to see what we can find. And we are going to put these caterpillars that are in here and we're gonna split them up into two cups. We gotta give them a little room. 
because hair streak caterpillars are famous guys for eating their siblings. They're famous for it. That's not good. I wonder if they've already started to eat each other. This is the paper towel that's on the bottom. We've got a caterpillar right here on the bottom of the paper towel, right here. And then I've got one in, actually there's several caterpillars in between. These ones here, these ones are all molting into final instars. I think I may have overcrowded them or maybe Maybe his sibling started to eat him, who knows. But I've got one, two, three, four, five caterpillars that are, they're actually molting. And so I'm going to just divvy them up and I'm just gonna really gently knock him off. One and one. Two, and let's see if I can get this guy to, nope, two. And then three, and three. Okay, oops. I just knocked a live caterpillar off, that was not good. Try to. Trying to pick these things up without hurting them is not easy. All right. Okay, now, always gotta make sure you open up your paper towel. There's none inside, there's none under, underneath. Okay, we're good to go. We're gonna go through this mess and we're gonna take a look. All right, here guys, this is a fully grown I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. That is a fully grown fulvous hair streak caterpillar right there, guys. That's a big boy. And you might say, Dave, that's really small. Well, when you're talking about small hair streaks, that is a big boy right there. So um, <clears throat> I'm expecting that by tomorrow, this guy will go pre-pupil and I'll go back into this container tomorrow and separate him out from the rest so he doesn't get eaten by his hungry siblings. Um, I'm gonna put him, what I'm gonna do with this big guy, I'm just gonna knock him off and just put him right, right into that cup. All right, here's another big one right here. Another big guy right here. Final instar. You know, that one that died, it could be that this food started getting a little old and these bigger siblings may have started to eat him. And that's how hair streak caterpillars roll, guys. And oh, what just happened right here? Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna put that guy in there. I got one fairly decent sized caterpillar right here. And I'm just gonna pick him up gently, move him into a cup. I'm not seeing any other caterpillars. It looks like I've actually had, guys, it actually looks like some of the caterpillars have eaten each other. Guys, this big caterpillar right here, and yes, that's a big one, uh, was pu pre-pupil and started to make its pupa. I didn't get to it fast enough. And its siblings started to eat it. So that's part of the deal when raising blues and hair streaks, they are highly cannibalistic. And this one actually fell prey to its siblings. And, and one of the things is when a caterpillar, all it has to eat is leaves, protein is actually not something that they have easy access to. So when they can get proteins <laughs> that are have the same body composition that aren't foreign to their body type, such as another a sibling, uh, when vulnerable, they'll they will eat their siblings. So a lot of hair streak caterpillars 
and blue caterpillars will go savage and eat the either the vulnerable larvae when they're molting or going making their pupa or it, the pupa itself. I've actually had hair streak larvae eat the chrysalis itself. So um, unfortunately, I didn't get to that one in time. They started to eat it and it's dead. Uh, so um, one of the better strategies you can do guys is actually when the caterpillars start to get into second, third, fourth instars, you can actually separate them each out into their own individual container. That is definitely the best way to do it. But I, I was actually on the road and had just brought these cups with me and I didn't have any extra stuff. I had to take care of them on the road, which is not, not the best. It was a couple more days since I was able to get them fresh food. Um, I brought some food in a Ziploc bag with me, but you know, it just, it didn't last five days in the, in the cooler and it wasn't fresh enough to feed. So these guys went a little hungry probably yesterday and this morning and decided to eat their brother. So, or sister, whatever, whichever one it is. Um, I'm looking for caterpillars guys. I don't see any more. I believe we have about seven or eight caterpillars within these two cups. Um, some of them, a couple of them are in final instar, great big caterpillars, and I'm expecting them to make their pupa by tomorrow. So um, that's about all we have for the final instar fulvus hair streak caterpillars for today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on raising hair streaks. Uh, we're gonna show you the rest of the deal, the pupa and the adult coming soon. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of the Keys Maw's action. We got plenty of videos lined up for you. Um, don't forget to give me a like, I'd appreciate that. Uh, we, we're raising all kinds of stuff here in South Florida. So um, if you have a request, comment down below or you know what species you want me to raise next. Or if you know how to get eggs from a certain species, I am all up for you know, if you get a caterpillar, you want to document the life cycle, you can, you know, message me in the comments below and we'll connect and we'll do a video on whatever caterpillar we can find here in South Florida. So uh, guys, still till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and raise some little baby hair streak butterflies. Take care now.